On this episode of WSRH Extra, we're taking a look at how new school regulations are impacting the student body here at the Ridge. Also, how representatives from clubs are advertising and encouraging students to get involved in extracurriculars. Plus, how our Hawks football team is coping with losing previous players and coaches. WSRH Extra, Extra starts now. now. Welcome to this episode of WSRH Extra. I'm Olivia Evans. And I'm Chase Gruby. Today we are focusing on a variety of back to school changes starting from the classroom to school organizations and outside to the football field. With a new principal comes a new set of rules. What are these new rules and why are they necessary? WSRH Extra reporter Adrian Murray has more on the story. Stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A new school year has brought a new set of rules and regulations here at the Ridge. And as students get back into school shape, their new principal, Robert Hatcher, has plans to make the Ridge even greater. We need to set a Hawk standard, okay? And that's academic uh, excellence, it's behavior standard, doing the right thing all the time. Principal Hatcher is showing his expertise and experience as he begins and continues to reshape the Ridge in order to bring the best out of his students and staff. Coming from a very successful um, um, time over at Western Pines where they've perennially, perennially been an A-rated school um, and he's kept his kids safe and academically uh, on top so you know that's the the aspect that he wants to bring here and he's implementing the things he feels like he needs to to do that. With new rules and additions such as the new GPA requirement and regulation are coming on and off campus many of the staff and teachers feel that. I think Principal Hatcher has had a great impact on the school thus far. Um, a lot of the new policies that he's implemented has been beneficial to our students and our staff. Beyond anything, Principal Hatcher has a special place in his heart for the safety and well-being of his precious staff and students. Um, you know, because he cares about kids, you know, that's that's ex that's really the, the nuts and bolts of it. I think Principal Hatcher has an excellent mindset when it comes to school safety. He really values the safety of students, staff, um, and all faculty members, and he really takes that very personally, and I respect him for that. The love and passion Principal Hatcher carries for the safety of his peers is unfortunately originated from a tragedy at one of his previous schools. So unfortunately in my 32 year career I've um, had the unfortunate um, circumstance of having a teacher murdered on a campus and um, that has haunted me since May 26th of 2000 and uh, we can never be too safe. Safety is always going to be inconvenient and I never want any of my students, teachers, or myself to have to relive a day like that. Seminole Ridge is welcoming Principal Hatcher and his new rules with open arms. We're excited for our future here at the Ridge under his leadership. For WSRH Extra, I'm Adrian Murray. Club Rush has been an annual event here at the Ridge for years now. As clubs come and go, our school showcases the many extracurriculars that students can get involved in, but some clubs have even more of an impact on the students than they know. WSRH Extra reporter Gabrielle Bradford takes us to the Ridge Rush. Club Rush at the Ridge marks the beginning of the school year. Representatives from each club gather outside the cafeteria to endorse the various extracurricular opportunities offered to students. We help get the kids involved, especially freshmen, and allowing them to see what amazing clubs we have on campus. I just encourage everybody to get involved, whether it's Helping the Homeless or any other club on campus. From Helping the Homeless to JROTC, Summon Ridge offers a variety of clubs that are allowing students to explore their every interest and learn new skills along the way. Joining clubs or sports definitely helps kids learn responsibility and realize the importance of being involved and meeting new people and basic life skills. It's definitely taught me to work together with everyone and respect each other and also it's a great way to meet new friends. Club Rush is not only a great way to build strong connections but is also providing students with an easily accessible opportunity to help steer them towards the future they desire. I think joining clubs and sports is very important for the future such as joining colleges, getting a job because it teaches you how to work with people. Volunteering is just something that is, is um, so important to a well-rounded individual and I think um, when seniors are thinking about writing their essays, uh, they should 
not just talk about their grades, they should talk about the things that they do outside of school and in school that um, in the community. Club Rush is presenting students with many more opportunities to get involved and create change in our school. For WSH Extra, I'm Gabrielle Bradford. Win or lose, our Hawks football team prides themselves not only on hard work and dedication, but also unity. However, this year, with new starting positions to fill, the players aren't afraid of a little friendly teammate competition. WSRH Extra reporter Will Claude takes us to the field for more information. After making a playoff appearance last season, the Selma Ridge varsity football team is looking to come back stronger than ever despite losing a key player. Uh, well, Will Rhymes was a game manager. Um, he was a rock. He was a consistent um, tone for our offense. After alumni Will Rhymes' departure, the team is in search for their next starting quarterback. So the biggest decision maker for QE1 has as much to do with the data and the film that they put together, as well as how they manage their practices. Choosing the new starting QB is turning out to be a difficult task for the Hawks. To prove themselves, aspiring quarterbacks are putting in hours of work to obtain the starting spot. Uh, showing up to workouts, camps, all that, all summer working out, you know. Along with the challenge of finding a new leader, the new QB prospects are facing challenges of their own. Um, definitely was the setback. Um, I stopped playing last season um, due to my knee, so it caused me to not get more reps and take less practice and just overall just set me back a little bit. Last year I broke my collarbone, actually fractured it against Glade Central and, you know, missing out basically half the season, a couple games actually, three or four games. Although they had setbacks, head coach Shafalo has a positive outlook on the abilities of Ruben and Gavin. They all bring something different to the table, um, you know, whether it's cognitive, right, your football IQ or maybe your arm strength, uh, accuracy, those types of things. It is safe to say that with all the hard work that Ruben and Gavin have put in this summer, it will make for a difficult decision for the coaches on who will be the starting quarterback. For WSRH Extra, I'm Will Claude. The new hybrid schedule set in place this year has its pros and cons. Let's take a closer look at how it is affecting one of Seminole Ridge's most valued academies. WSH Extra reporter Caitlin Clark takes us to the shop. With a new school year comes many new changes. These changes are not only affecting students, but our school's most favorite academies as well. Mr. Turkovich, Seminole Ridge's construction teacher, says this new bell schedule has already had quite an effect on his class. You know, normally we go through safety in the first week of school. Um, because of this, I, I'm on my second week working on the safety stuff, and I'm probably not going to finish it until next week. You know, 20 to 30 minutes taken out of 50 minute class, we only have 20 to 30 minutes to actually work. Mr. Williams, the new construction teacher, agrees that they have had quite an adaptation to make. We actually have a lot of stuff to go through, um, and it doesn't give us a lot of time. Um, long term, we're going to have to make some adjustments. Despite the challenges the Construction Academy is facing, they're still trying their very best to stay on track and construct a future for many needy families. They shouldn't have to wait too long. By the time they finish everything they have to do, hopefully we'll, we'll have the house ready for them. If we have to, maybe you know we'll see if some kids are willing to work on after school or on the weekends. Although there are many different opinions on this matter, there may be a bright side. Um, having the class every day allows us to pick up on something we left yesterday versus having to wait till two more days to pick up on what we've done. Regardless of the new changes the Construction Academy is facing, they are going to persevere and reach the goal of giving families their forever home. For WSRH Extra, I'm Caitlin Clark. With the new GPA requirement, hybrid schedule, and football team dynamic, there are clearly a lot of changes being made around campus. Along with these changes, JROTC is getting a new addition as well. WSRH Extra reporter Brady Lucas has the story. With the start of a new school year, Seminole Ridge's renowned JROTC Academy has undergone many new changes. But there's also now for the teams, there's like, there's tryouts now, so it makes the teams more competitive and seem like more interesting to get into and it shows who really wants to be there and I think that's awesome. However, there is one change in particular that has impacted the Academy the most. It's fantastic having a, a, a new instructor. I've been here going on eight years now, and uh, Sergeant Correa has been a Sergeant Correa has been a fantastic addition to the team. But with the new addition of Sergeant Correa, the academy is coming into the school year with a new perspective.
even though there's a new sergeant stepping in, students are still excited about what he has to bring to the academy. For Sergeant Correa, he's great. He gets a interpersonal connection with all the cadets, and it's just awesome to have him here. Sergeant Correa has entered this academy with a great deal of enthusiasm as he takes on his new position. Um, there's so many things I could be doing, but I, I like mentoring young men and women to be better citizens. Uh, I taught or I trained soldiers in my last assignment, so that just kind of moved over from the Army to Army JROTC. Correa has just begun making an impact on the JROTC Academy, and the imprint shows already with how the cadets view him. The Academy will only go up from here. For WSRH Extra, I'm Brady Lucas. Starting off this new football season, the Hawks are not only acquiring a new team layout, but also a different look to the coaching staff. WSRH Extra reporter Kaylee Shafalo brings us to the sideline for a closer look. <laughs> With the return of school comes the return of football. Players are excited to get back on the field, and so is the new head coach. Honestly, I think not just him. Like we all know that we are gonna do pretty good this year. Hopefully, um, it's all good, all good vibes. And with this excitement comes a big change. Been here for four seasons, had four years, and I knew this was gonna be the last. As I shared with the administration, it was gonna be the last head coaching job I was gonna. Uh, take. With a gap to fill in the new head coaching position, Coach Chad Shafalo is stepping onto the field and taking charge. He's just a super man. He's a great husband. He's a great father, a great coach. Uh, he's always worked great with me and uh, he's, he lives in the community, which it couldn't be a better fit. While his attributes are impressive, taking on a new role isn't easy. It's a good challenge for me. Um, I want you know, th these opportunities don't come around as often as one might think, so uh, when the iron's hot, you got to strike. Despite his new challenges as head coach, Chief still has high hopes for this season and for his players. You know, when it comes to X's and O's, your goal is to win the state championship. Personally, as a coach, it would be to just to be able to produce good young men. With a shaky start to the season, players are looking forward to a new head coach, Chad Shafalo, to lead the way. With high hopes, only time will tell what happens. For WSH Extra, I'm Kaylee Shafalo. Well, that's it for this episode of WSH Extra. I'm Chase Gruby. And I'm Olivia Evans. Don't forget to follow us and send submissions to us at Summoner Ridge TV. See you next time.